Hi guys, welcome back to the United Kingdom Crayfish Association's official YouTube channel. You all know me, Andy Mack, aka Mack of the Trapper. We're here back at Moreland's Fishery in Hartlebury, guys, checking out those uh, traps that were laced with uh, with uh, fresh seawater mussels and molasses. Uh, we're going to do a quick stock take now on those traps to the uh, sequel. The results of the uh, field research: Do uh, they prefer sticky baits, as like uh, molasses, or do they prefer? seafood like mussels so as you can see beautiful day here today in worcestershire let's uh, pull those traps in and let's see what's in there okay guys first trap as you can see that blue float there nice and visible lovely open stretch of the lake here today and i'm actually lucky enough today actually to have the uh most of the actual fishery to myself a couple of anglers over there with the uh, with the kids doing a bit of uh, spot fishing, but most of the lakes here that I need to actually trap and rebait on, as you can see, that one right there, which is prime candidate for the uh, Turkish narrow claw crayfish, is empty. So I can get all the traps sorted out and get them all put back in. Right then, let's pull this one in. Let's see what's in there. Remember, this is field test research on behalf of Crayster USA to see the difference between uh, molasses, that's the black treacle, or the fresh sorry fresh saltwater sea mussels okay let's have a look at what's in the first trap this is for the molasses only three of them have been uh, baited remember guys okay and in that one we have a big fat zero okay there's nothing in that one for the molasses okay so there we go okay nothing in there for the molasses okay trap two for the molasses let's see what's in this one Oh, we've got one crayfish in there. That's got a big one as well. It's not too bad. There we go. There he is. All right. And this is for, again, the molasses. With a little bit of banana in there as well. Don't know where that's come from. But, uh, yeah, okay, we've got one crayfish in there for trap number two. Okay. Okay, guys, trap number three for molasses black treacle, sugar based bait. Let's see what's in this one. Putting it one handed. <laughs> and nothing in that one either. Okay, that's a bit bizarre. But as you can see there, there's uh, the reduced input there for the, uh, for the, like a carp guard, as it were, that I've reduced the input for the trap because we had a lot, of, uh, a lot of carp getting into these traps. And uh, yeah, okay, not drawing a blank on that one as well. Okay, so that's one out of three for the molasses. Let's go and check out the uh, let's go and check out the traps with the mussels in. See what's in there. Okay, guys, first trap for the uh, saltwater mussels as bait. Let's see what's in this one. Okay, we've got crayfish in there. We've got three crayfish in there and two roach. Okay. That's three crayfish and two roach. You can see those there. There we go. All right. That's for the first trap using mussels. Okay, guys, second trap using mussels. Let's see what's in this one. No floats on these as yet. I've got to redo all those today. Now, what's in here? Not a sausage. <laughs> Actually see the, uh, the mussels down there. The bait's completely untouched. Okay. That's quite bizarre. No blockage there from the trap or anything. So, nothing for the second trap using mussels. Okay guys, and the third and final trap using mussels, as you can see here, secured by Megapeg with the high visibility line. Let's have a look what's in this one. This is using mussels as bait. Fresh seawater mussels. And in there we have Nader nothing in there using mussels okay so that's three in one trap out of three traps that's an average of one per trap and then there's one in the far far lake out of three traps so two empty and one in tra one trap so okay there we go Okay guys, interesting result there. On the uh, traps that had the molasses in, there was one crayfish, one crayfish out of three pots. And in the traps that were using the seawater mussels in its bait, there was three traps and one trap with three crayfish in, two were empty. So on the law of averages, that means that the, the, uh, with the mussels in its bait, that's one per trap. With the molasses, that's 
one uh, crayfish out of three traps, which means on that lot of averages, there's more bait, more crayfish in the traps using the mussels. So mussels wins on this one. I'm just uh, going to be rebaiting now using the uh, using the old trick of bananas just to make sure that that's actually the the prime bait that we're looking for for the Turkish narrow claw. Um, using the actual uh, using the floats and everything else that you can see that uh, we've been used in the previous videos. Uh, just a short video today, guys. Like I say, there's only uh, six traps to uh, to pull in and to test using two different types of bait. And on this occasion, molasses, thumbs down. Uh, salt water, mussels, thumbs up. So, like I say, there's only uh, six traps to bait and do the test on. So, out of the law of averages, this means that the uh, the salt water mussels win on this occasion. Uh, that's about it for now, guys. I've got to get these uh, get these pots rebaited, get them all put back into the uh, into the uh, into the lake. So, until next time, guys. I'm Andy Mack, and you are watching the official YouTube channel of the UKCA in action. Until next time, guys. Keep it safe. Keep it great. Keep it UKCA, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.